Hello everyone, it's a Vegas sound test guy, back at it again with another sound test. I decided to switch it up a bit and make a different intro, so as you may have noticed, I've never tried and made a sound test on the Cherry Switch, but first, let's talk about my new desk mat and gym case set. So finally, I got my Greg mat, which I waited for almost uh, 3 weeks. Sadly, I wasn't able to cop the GMK Greg, but I'm all set with the mat itself. I also got a new GMK set called the K1953, which we would be using on the sound test. I wasn't really a fan of retro sets, but I gave it a try and it was actually really worth it. Now I'm eyeing on getting more retro sets in the future. If you want a full unboxing of this set, please let me know in the comment section down below. But Today is the day that we're going to pop a cherry. So, here's the cherry. The Cherry Max Hyperglides. This is a 5 pin linear switch with a 60 gram actuation point. And for the materials that was used, well, uh, I actually know that this is a full nylon. Uh, switch, but let me know if I'm incorrect. Let me know in the comment section down below. But yeah, full nylon switch for the hyperglides. Now, as mentioned on the intro, I have never tried a cherry switch, I've never tried and made a sound test for them. So, this is actually the first time. But let's go ahead and check the top housing cherry logo on the top housing. For the bottom housing, again this is a 5 pin switch and here's the bottom housing and then next of course the stem, nothing special about the stem. Lastly the spring, again the spring is a 60 gram silver spring and as far as I know there's also a 3 pin version of the hyperglides but of course we have a hot swap board we're gonna go always for the five pin and without further ado let's go ahead check out the sound test
So that was the sound test for the Cherry Hyperglides. Let me know in the comment section down below what you think about the switches. But for now, let's talk about my impression on the switch. I've actually tried this out for about a month now and what I usually do is I usually try out a switch whenever I get a new one. I usually try them out for a week before making a sound test and before making a video. It just so happened that I was really drawn into the switch. I was really enjoying the switch and I really do apologize if uh, my last upload was three weeks ago. I apologize for that but here we are and a quick disclaimer this is my own opinion own preference regarding the cherry hyperglides let's talk about the feel for the feel it's actually a bit scratchy but not to the point that it would actually bother you I tend to type fast so whenever I feel the scratch I actually don't mind it and it's not as bad as it creams Again, it will all boil down to your preference. I know some people like a bit of the scratch and of course some people do not like the scratch. But for the 60 gram spring, I was actually surprised as it didn't actually feel that light for me. Considering that the Duroc Palm has the same spring weight but this actually feels more solid. The Duroc Palm that I actually did a sound test last upload, the spring was actually too light for me. And for this one, I get less typo and I am more accurate. Again, for the feel, it's really good for me as long as you don't mind the minor scratchy feeling. And I do believe that using this consistently and breaking them in would actually make it feel better. Moving on for the sound. The sound is perfect for my preference. I love the high pitch and the pop that it brings out and using this for almost a month I could honestly say that out of all switches that I've tried this is by far my favorite sounding switch on my Vega and before trying this I've actually heard a lot about the signature quote unquote cherry pop sound and I was actually very excited to try it out and guys I was not disappointed I was not disappointed to the point that every minute I actually visit monkey type just to hear the cherry pop or just to hear my my Vega and this made me excited to try out a bunch of Franken switch wherein I'll use the cherry tops or use a different stem or the or, or different bottom housing I don't know let me know if you have a um, idea again as long as you don't mind the scratchy feeling overall I would definitely suggest on trying and getting the hyperglides especially if you haven't tried any cherry switches at all so that wraps it up for my Cherry Hyperglide sound test and impression. Before I end the video guys, I would like to thank each and everyone who subscribed and supported me. We have reached 500 subs. I'm really thankful for all of you guys. And as a special video, and as promised, my mom will type on my Vega. And I did a poll on my Instagram, rx003 underscore underscore. Please do follow me for updates. And I actually, asked us, I actually made a poll and asked what switches should my mom type on my Vega. And the winner was MX Blues. So my mom will type on my Vega using MS Blues. <laughs> so please do anticipate my next special upload. Again, thank you so much for the support. I love you guys. Stay safe. I'll see you guys on the next video.